Hi, I'm Alistair, and in this video I'd like to describe how you can configure one of these Sonoff wireless Wi-Fi switches to work from a local Wi-Fi network powered by Node-RED. Um, so these are switches which are sort of popular in the smart home automation kind of uh, sphere. Um, and what you can do is you can attach them to a power cable like this, and then you can have any mains powered appliance uh, connected to a network. So if you have uh, Alexa or Google Home voice control or Nest or one of these kind of smart home control systems, you can then uh, control power supply to any mains appliance using that. Now, that all sounds great, and I thought that would be uh, really useful to have in an escape room as well, so you could have mains appliances that were triggered by a control system. The problem is, the way that these work is that they uh, use an internet connection, so an external internet connection, to connect to a central server. Um, now, I'm not particularly a conspiracy theorist, but I don't really like the idea of having a mains appliance in my home or in my escape room, uh, which is controlled by messages sent from a server in China somewhere. Um, I just don't like having that dependency on a third party that I don't control that is going to be able to activate mains appliances where I am here. Uh, but fortunately there is a solution. So um, if you crack open one of these and have a look what's inside, uh, so here's one I did earlier. So I've just taken the uh, back off and this is really simple to do. And when you look at what's inside, uh, this is what you find. Um, so if I just zoom in slightly. So on this side of the board here, what we're essentially looking at is we've got um, a relay up here. This is what is switching the power on and off. We've got a handful of capacitors, a transformer unit, and this little chip here, this is an ESP chip, um, exactly or very similar to what you'd find in a Wemos D1 Mini or something like that, um, and comparable to the AT Mega chip on an Arduino. So um, what we can do is we can actually reprogram the chip here so that instead of trying to connect to that external internet server it's going to connect to our local network server instead and we're going to be able to run everything locally. Um, now to do that what we need to do is to be able to reflash the chip with some new hardware. If you look on the back of the board, if I hold it the right way up, you'll see that there's actually some uh, pins here. We've got ground, transmit, receive and a 3.3 volt uh, power input. And those um, currently sort of empty pinholes there are connected to the ESP chip. So what you can do, uh, if you take some uh, just pin headers like this and solder them onto those pins there, what you can then do is get an FTDI programmer like this one and uh, connect the USB connection there to your PC and you can run some uh, software which is going to upload a new firmware onto the chip of the board here and, can, and change how it behaves basically. Now I kind of rushed through that because um, there are other sites that already explain that and it's pointless me duplicating that information but I'm uploading some new firmware called Tasmota and I'm using a, a piece of software called Tasmatizer to upload that uh, firmware onto my Sonoff board. So I'll provide the link in the description below. You can just go to GitHub, download the new firmware and use the Tasmatizer software to copy it to your Sonoff. And then you have a customized uh, Sonoff controller which you can now connect to via your Wi-Fi network. So once you've uh, modified your Sonoff controller and flashed the new Tasmota firmware onto it, uh, this is what you'll see when you go to the IP address of the controller. Um, so you'll see a nice little uh, screen here. It's got a couple of different settings. But uh, even from this screen alone, we can toggle the power to any connected device on and off just by clicking this toggle button. So I've got this controller connected to a light in the corner here. And if I toggle the power off, you'll see the light go off. And then if I toggle it back on again, that light comes back on again. Um, so you can very easily um, control appliances directly, but more usefully than that, if you go into the configuration here, you'll see we can actually set up a timer to make it uh, come on and off at certain times on its own. Um, also, we can set up a, a MQTT, so we can tell it about a broker that's running locally, which could be node red, um, that controls 
the power supply to this device now from a central server. And that's what I'm using in my escape room control software and that's how I'll be using uh, this to control mains devices. So um, hopefully that's useful to you too because these devices themselves are um, very cheap. They're literally kind of dollars to buy some of these and when you've upgraded them with that new firmware they actually become really really useful little gadgets. Uh, so that's it.